They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord saith, and the Lord hath not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision? And have ye not spoken a lying divination, whereas ye say, The Lord saith it, albeit I have not spoken? Therefore thus saith the Lord God, because ye have spoken vanity, and seen lies. Therefore behold, I am against you, saith the Lord God. And mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity, and that divine lies, they shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel, neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord God. The scriptures warn us about false prophets that will rise in the end time. Because we are the end time generation, many of us look into the scriptures that speak on the false prophets and teachers. If you're a person that read both the Old and New Testaments, you will know that throughout the Israelite journey to redemption, many false prophets was in their midst. The unrighteous prophets led the Israelites astray from the Most High. The reason our people kept falling short, many of the false prophets, teachers, and leaders that let our people serve idols. The unrighteous leaders prophesied lies in the name of the Most High to the Israelites. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination, and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. As you heard in the scripture in the book of Jeremiah, the false prophets are prophesying to the people false vision and divination. Israelites, divination is under the umbrella of witchcraft and sorcery. The false prophets that are prophesying lies through false vision and divination are using familiar spirits. If you have been on this channel long enough, you will know that modern day pastors in religion use familiar spirits to create new doctrine and prophesy lies. Familiar spirits are disguising themselves as the Holy Ghost in the house of bondage to church. A good example that will help you understand familiar spirits, the story in the scripture of Saul seeking the woman at Endor that had a familiar spirits for answers when the Most High the Father stopped speaking to him. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by prophets. Then said Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her, and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor. The woman at Endor in today's culture would be labeled a witch, a pastor, a priestess, or some sort of spiritual advisor. The woman at Endor didn't get assistance from the kingdom of the Most High to help Saul. She obtains power from the kingdom of darkness to prophesy lies to King Saul. When Saul heard the words coming out of the mouth of the familiar spirit that took on the likeness of Samuel, he believed it. Anyone who served the God of Israel would not seek anyone with a familiar spirit to hear from the Most High. The scriptures forbid such practice. There are people, the Satan's deceiving to believing, seeking a person with a familiar spirit is not an abomination. Israelites, the scripture said otherwise. The familiar spirits that spoke to Saul have deceived countless people throughout the generations. A lot of people in this generation believe the familiar spirit the woman at Endor brought forth is Samuel. Despite the scriptures letting us know plainly it's a familiar spirit, as well as the dead know nothing about what is going on on the earth. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything, neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Did you hear the scripture? When a person transitions to the afterlife, the memories of them are forgotten and they don't know what's going on in the physical realm. 
Despite the scriptures saying this truth, there are people who will argue that the familiar spirit that took on the likeness of Samuel was the real Samuel speaking to King Saul. The familiar spirit that was brought forth by the woman from Endor is still deceiving many people until this day. That is why the Most High reserve harsh judgment on the people who use familiar spirits to prophesy lies. The lies are misleading a multitude of people for countless generations. I'm sure there will be Israelites and strangers in the comment section debating about the identity of the masquerading spirit of Samuel. Some people see nothing wrong with what King Saul did. Despite the scripture saying he disguised himself to go see the woman with a familiar spirit at night. And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment and he went and two men with him. And they came to the woman by night. And he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by the familiar spirit and bring me him up whom I shall name unto thee. If you have to disguise yourself, this is a good indicator that what you're about to do is wrong. King Saul, no, it was wrong. It was King Saul who banned all the wizards, witches, and sorcerers on the land in those days. When the Most High stopped speaking to him, he went to the very people he banned to get answers. Israelites, this is why discernment is important. The same people who don't see nothing wrong with the familiar spirit masquerading as Samuel believe they are serving the God of Israel. The scripture said King Saul died because he sinned against the Most High. The scriptures went on to mention a specific sin that caused King Saul to lose his kingship and life. So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it, and inquired not of the Lord. Therefore he slew him and turned the kingdom unto David, the son of Jesse. Israelites, did you hear what the scripture said? King Saul, cause of death, was seeking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit. Israelites, we are the end time generation. We have to use discernment at this time. We have to let the Holy Spirit guide us into all truth. We can't let emotions dictate our beliefs and truth. Just because the doctrine is popular, it doesn't mean it's true. The time have come for you to stop letting emotions and what's popular in this world dictate your beliefs. A lot of Israelites in the awakening are struggling to accept truth because the truth is not popular. The Most High said in the scriptures you just heard, he didn't send these prophets to his people. The scriptures in the book of Jeremiah said the false prophets visions come from their deceitful hearts. Everything the false prophets are saying are lies. The scriptures told us who the father of lies is. The scriptures went on to say the truth is not in the father of lies. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Everyone who accepts the false prophets, teachers, and leaders' lies as truth are led astray. Satan's disciples are able to deceive the whole world through false prophecies and doctrines. The blood of all the people that follow the false prophecies from wicked leaders, the Most High will hold accountable. That is why the Most High reserve harsh judgments for false prophets, teachers, and leaders. False teachers and prophets are not the only people the Most High would judge harshly. The wrath of the Most High will come upon all the wicked. All the enemies of the Most High will feel the wrath of the Most High when the word of God comes to execute the wrath of the Most High at the last day. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. If your name is not written in the book of life, you will be under the wrath of the Most High. The awakening is plagued with a lot of falsehoods along with blasphemers. Israelites, the awakening is about like-minded people coming together to repent as well as to return to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth. As the years passed by, I started to realize that wasn't the case. 
It seems to me the Israelites are proud more now than ever. The Most High called for his people to be humble, as well as to repent, pray, and seek his face. A great majority of Israelites are not seeking the Father's face. Majority of Israelites who left the Christian church gathered together under a new subgroup in Christianity called Hebrew Israelite. I have said on multiple occasions, the Hebrew Israelite religion is another denomination in Christianity. The doctrines of the Hebrew Israelites and Christianity are identical. The only difference is race. Outside of race, they share the same God. Israelites, it's extremely important for you to know what you worship, especially at such a time like this. The God of Christianity is not the Most High, the God of Israel. If the Hebrew Israelites share the same God as the religion called Christianity, nothing have changed. The scriptures made it very clear that the Gentiles who believe they are spiritual Israel make all of their sacrifices to devils. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. No one who served the Most High should have anything in common with the beast religion. Many of the doctrines taught in Christianity, some Israelites brought the false doctrines into the awakening. They continue to uphold the doctrines, the false prophets and teachers taught in the beast religion. Former Christian pastors who proclaim they have awakened, they are misleading the Israelites by repeating the doctrines they've learned from Rome in the awakening. In the recent years, there's been a rise of social media prophets and teachers. Social media gave the kingdom of darkness the opportunity to sow tares in the form of prophets and teachers all over the world. The Israelites are having a difficult time differentiating the wolves in sheep clothing. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Because many Israelites don't have the spirit of discernment to help them test the spirits of the people they listen to on social media. Also, some Israelites can't hear when the Holy Spirit is speaking to them. Many Israelites cannot recognize the voice of the Most High through the Holy Spirit. Therefore, Majority of Israelites rely on emotions as well as what's popular to guide them spiritually. If the Israelites use discernment and allow the Holy Spirit to guide them into all truth, they can easily differentiate the prophets and teachers anointed by the Most High for this generation from the false prophets and teachers, the Satans sent to be a stumbling block to the Israelites and strangers who want to serve the Father in the Spirit and in truth. The Satans oppose everyone who truly want to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. The scripture you heard in Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 14 said that the visions from the false teachers and prophets come from the deceitfulness of their heart. Some of the false prophets don't realize they are deceived. Satan is the father of lies. The scriptures made it known there's no truth in him. The prophecy and doctrines that people are accustomed to hearing are lies, especially if those prophecies and doctrines stem from Rome. Remember, Satan deceived the whole world. The prophets in religion believe they are communicating with the Holy Spirit. However, they are in contact with familiar spirits disguising themselves as the Holy Ghost. The high-level workers of iniquity know they are interacting with familiar spirits because many disciples of Satan made a covenant with death as well as made an agreement with hell. They will stand behind their falsehoods and lies. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death and with hell. Are we at agreement? When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Now that the gospel of truth is being heard in all the kingdoms of this world as a witness to all nations, the prophecies spoken by our ancestors about the end times are coming to pass. 
Israelites, it's important for you to not allow yourself to be deceived by false prophets and teachers, as well as not allow the spirit of pride cause you to become a blasphemer. There are many Israelites who participate in spreading the false visions and prophecies of false prophets and teachers. The awakening is plagued with false prophets and teachers. The prophets of old, whom the Most High used to write the scriptures, they have already prophesied of what is to come in the end times. The rise of false prophets and teachers shouldn't surprise anyone. The scriptures clearly said everything written must be fulfilled. These be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Israelites, it's important for you to know that the signs of the times have already been prophesied through righteous prophets anointed by the Most High. The scriptures you're reading are the prophecies and visions from prophets the Most High spoke through. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. The prophet Jeremiah prophesied everything the Most High the Father said to him. When you read the book of Jeremiah, know that it's Jeremiah repeating what the Most High the Father said to him through the Holy Spirit. Israelites, beware of modern day prophets and teachers passing along prophecy prophesied in the scriptures as their own. The false prophets and teachers of this world will do this to make a following for themselves. You will often see these prophets taking credit for the prophecy spoken by the prophets in the scriptures as their own prophecy. The modern day prophets are stealing the glory of the Most High. If the modern day prophets and teachers truly serve the Most High, they would know that the Most High don't play about his glory. The Most High will not share his glory with anyone. I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. The scripture said we should test a person's spirit to see if they are of the most high. Israelites, it's important for you to test the spirit of everyone you encounter. A person's behavior will tell you everything you need to know. If a so-called prophet or teacher entire existence on social media is bashing other people, making exposed videos and stealing other people's content, the Holy Spirit will alert you. False prophets are not leading the people back to the Most High. They are leading the people to the God of this world and the Messiah that came in his own name. Because we are living in the end times, the spirit of vanity is deceiving many at this time. Clout chasing will expose the true intentions of false prophets and teachers all over the world. The spirit of pride will exalt itself in them causing the modern day prophets and teachers to seek recognition and reverence from the people of the Most High. False teachers and prophets are seeking praise for themselves. The false prophets and teachers will share the same characteristics with the God they serve. We should know by now the God of this world wanted to exalt himself above the stars of God to be like the Most High. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. False teachers and prophets will share the same pride with Satan. Israelites know that a true prophet of the Most High is not seeking his or her own glory. They will be humble and give all the glory to the Father. Israelites, it's important for you to know the characteristics of a true prophet or teacher of the Most High. No prophet or teacher of the Most High is teaching hate, nor are they wasting time debating, as well as uploading exposed videos. The time have come for you to truly test the spirit of the people you listen to. If the people of the Most High would listen to the scriptures and become doers of the word, they wouldn't mistake the true prophets and teachers of the Most High with the ministers of Satan. Israelites, the time have come for you to become doers of the word and not hearers only. But be ye doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. There are a lot of Israelites in the awakening who are quick to call a person a false teacher or prophet. 
One of the main reasons they call a person a false prophet or teacher, the interpretation of the scriptures is not corresponding with the interpretation they have heard in religion and accepted as truth in their heart. The moment you share truth that doesn't correspond with the doctrines they are accustomed to, they are ready to crucify the messenger. Some Israelites do not realize that you don't have to be a prophet to mislead the people of the Most High. Sharing the false visions and doctrines you accepted as truth make you a co-conspirator. The wrath of the Most High is upon everyone who share the doctrines of the false prophets and teachers. Just because you didn't prophesy the false visions, it doesn't exempt you from the consequences that follow for spreading false prophecy and doctrine. Israelites, this is why I say establish a personal relationship with the Father. That way you will know the voice of the Most High through the Holy Spirit. When you hear prophecy or doctrines that is not of the Most High, the Holy Spirit will alert you. If you accept the lying visions from the false prophets as the word of the Most High and you spread the lies, you will be held accountable. The scripture said, do not partake in other people's sins. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. When the Most High judge his people, he judges the individual as well as the entire nation. Remember when David sinned by numbering the people? As a consequence to his sin, the Most High sent a plague that killed many Israelites. King David had to repent and plead with the Most High to turn his wrath from the people. And David said unto God, Is it not I that commanded the people to be numbered? Even I it is that have sinned and done evil indeed. But as for these sheep, what have they done? Let thine hand I pray thee, O Lord my God, be on me and on my father's house, but not on thy people, that they should be plagued. The Israelites was following the leader the Most High put over them. Because they followed King David, the wrath of the Most High came upon them. Just like when Adam listened to the voice of Eve and ate from the tree, and the wrath of the Most High came upon Adam. If Israelites knew their God, they will know that the Most High is a no-nonsense father. He will chastise the ones he loved, and he will do it in a way that will bring forth the changes he desired. To the Israelites that are quick to stone the messengers of the Most High in this generation, to the Israelites that wants to remind other Israelites who sacrifice their time, as well as put their life on the line to spread the truth of the Most High's words, you call them a liar for upholding the truth of the Most High's words. You call them false prophets and unlearned. Some of you are under the same condemnation, especially when you condemn an anointed teacher, the Most High called. When you condemn an anointed person to uplift the voice of Satan, you become a partaker in the sins of the false prophet and teachers whose doctrine and prophecy you accepted as truth. Some Israelites really need to watch yourself. The sin of blasphemy is rarely talked about. Satan deceived many of you into believing you are doing the will of the Most High and you're not. Remember, you will be held accountable for your every word. But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Israelites, you can't go around calling everyone a false prophet and teacher simply because you have zero discernment. When you do this, you become a blasphemer as well as an enemy to the Most High. Some Israelites don't realize the anointed teachers and prophets that are speaking the truth of the Most High's words are vessels the Most High is using to do His will. Remember, in the house of the Most High, there are vessels made for honor and some for dishonor. The scripture said, the Most High searches the whole earth looking for who He can show Himself strong through. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly. Therefore, from henceforth, thou shalt have wars. When you ignorantly attack the anointed individual the Most High is using, you are attacking the Father. It's the Most High operating in that person. The Father is showing himself strong in that person, just as the scriptures state. No one knows the heart of a person but the Most High, the Father. If a messenger is relaying a message and the person hearing the message becomes angry, that person is getting angry at the one who sent the message, not the messenger. 
Israelites, you have to be careful with who you attack and accuse. Many of you are accusing the father and you don't know it. You believe you're attacking the person speaking, but you truly attacking the father. When you attack an anointed person of the most high, you're attacking the father. Remember, when the Israelites asked for a king, Samuel was upset with the Israelites for requesting a king. The father said to Samuel, the people are not rejecting you. The Most High said the Israelites are rejecting him. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. Presently in the awakening, Israelites don't think twice when they slander and accuse a person. If the teaching is contrary to what that individual believe, they will attack and slander the person. If you disagree with the doctrine that is popular, for example, the false doctrine of Esau being the white man, the comment section would be full of insults from Israelites who believe the false prophet or teacher that created the doctrine. Majority of Israelites who accept that Esau is the white man are participating in the teacher or prophet who started this doctrine, iniquities. They are upholding the doctrine in their heart as truth. Anyone who disagree, they will attack. The doctrine from Rome are not the only doctrines that are misleading the Israelites in the awakening. Many false prophets and teachers are creating their own doctrines in the awakening. Israelites, because we are a people that have been sleeping for a long period of time, we have to unlearn a lot of lies and falsehoods. The only way to be transformed, we have to let the Most High renew our mind and spirit. That ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. If we continue to uphold the doctrine taught to us from religion, we are not letting the Most High do the necessary work needed to transform us into the sons and daughters he designed us to be. Remember, the native language of the kingdom of darkness is lies. Religion is a creation from the Satans. Therefore, everything taught in religion are lies. You must have the spirit of discernment to differentiate the prophets and teachers planted by Satan from the anointed people the Most High chose. Many Israelites are aware of the judgments reserved for false prophets and teachers. Many of you are not aware of the judgments against blasphemers. All sin will be forgiven, but anyone who blasphemed the Holy Spirit, that sin will not be forgiven. Wherefore, I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. It's the Holy Spirit that is speaking through the anointed individuals the Most High chose in this generation to show himself strong through. Like I said to you before, when you attack an anointed person sent by the Most High, you're attacking the Most High. When the anointed person speak, they are not speaking their own words, but the words of the Most High through the Holy Spirit. The Messiah said throughout the scriptures, he's doing the will of the Father. The Messiah also said the words he speak, as well as his teachings, are not his, but the Father's who sent him. It's the same principle for the anointed teachers and prophets of this generation. Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings. And the word which ye hear is not mine but the fathers which sent me. The Messiah was a representation of the father when he was flesh. Likewise, the anointed teachers and prophets teaching and prophesying are a representation of the most high, the father. Just like the Israelite nation is a representation of the father to the Gentile nations. When you attack the anointed teachers or prophets and call them unlearned, a liar, false prophet, and a deceiver, you're saying these things to the Holy Spirit that operate in that anointed person. Remember, it's the Holy Spirit that will guide us into all truth and tell us the things to come. It's the Holy Spirit that searches the deep things of the Most High and reveal it to us. It's the Holy Spirit that knows the Spirit of the Most High. It's the Holy Spirit that pray for us with much groanings. It's the Holy Spirit that is guiding us. 
We are the temple that house the Holy Spirit. Albeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Know ye not? that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. What did the scripture say about blaspheming the Holy Spirit? That sin will not be forgiven. When you grow spiritually, you will see how accurate the Messiah was when he said, the kingdom of the Most High is within you. Israelites, the time have come for you to listen to the scriptures. Many of you believe you're doing the will of the Most High and you're not. Some Israelites are sinning more now than they were in religion. The spirit of pride is deceiving many Israelites to come against their brothers and sisters. Most of you don't realize you're contending with the Most High when you touch the Most High's anointed. It's extremely important to use discernment before you attack a person you believe is a false prophet. If you test the spirit of a person, there's no way you can confuse the false teachers and prophets with the anointed teacher or prophet called by the Most High. If Israelites are truly drawing near to the Most High, you will be able to differentiate the ministers of Satan from the anointed people called by the Most High. We are the end time generation. We can't become reckless with our spiritual journey. If our ancestors and Israelites in this generation could recognize false teachers and prophets, we would have never forgotten our God. Because the spirit of rejection is causing many to reject truth and the people the Father sent, Israelites all over the world are perishing from a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. When the Israelites was in the pagan church, following the traditions of men in religion, they were indoctrinated by false prophets and teachers. These false prophets and teachers led many away from the Most High. Israelites, you should look at the characteristics of the pastors, teachers, evangelists, and prophets in the pagan church to help you discern the real from the fake. Familiar spirits was leading the religious leaders in the church. The father set a time for the truth to be heard and for his people to wake up from their slumber. The purpose of this awakening is for the people of the Most High to return to serve the father in the spirit and in truth. The Most High have his anointed in the awakening teaching his truth. By their fruits you will know them. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. Every Israelite that returned to serve the Father in truth will be able to identify the real prophets and teachers of the Most High. The Father will lead you to them. Israelites, be very careful with labeling all teachers and prophets in the awakening as false prophets and teachers. You really need to do your part and test the spirit of these so-called prophets and teachers. You must fast and pray to ask the Father to lead you to one of his anointed. You have to be a doer of the word. Don't think you're safe if you paint all teachers of truth and prophets with one brush. You have to do your part before you put such label on a person. Just like some of you say to the people who teach, you will be held accountable. Say the same thing to yourself. You will be held accountable for rejecting the truth. It goes both ways. Israelites, this is why you must have a teachable spirit and be humble. For we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of the Most High. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The scripture said, in the end times, many false prophets will rise. There will be people who will proclaim they are the Messiah. The word of God prophesied many years ago when he was flesh, many will come in his name. 
We have been warned in the scriptures on multiple occasions about false prophets and teachers. We have to do our part and ask the Father to show us the false prophets and teachers. The Most High is still communicating with his people. One of the purpose of the awakening is to make us aware of our sins so that we can repent to find forgiveness. Repentance is continual. True repentance brings change. If you truly want to be restored and renewed, you have to let the Most High do the necessary work to transform you. You can't let the spirit of fear cause you to label every person a false teacher and prophet. Don't project your fears on the messengers. The Most High did not give us the spirit of fear. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. How many times must the Father try to gather his people to redeem them? The Israelites have a history of stoning the prophets. The scriptures reveal this to be true. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Although the Messiah and countless other prophets of old prophesied that many false prophets and teachers will rise in the end times, you can't let the spirit of fear disable you. Take your time to do your due diligence. You will be able to discern the false prophets and teachers. The truth is correcting the lies and falsehoods the Satans told for multiple generations. The earth have been in the hands of the wicked for a long time. The truth many perceive to be new doctrine is old doctrine that is coming into the light. If you allow the Holy Spirit to reveal truth to you, the truth is not going to surprise you. If you have a heart after the Most High and true repentance have taken place in your life, you've been operating in the truth. The vast amount of wisdom being poured out at this hour will only confirm what you already know. Israelites, when you ask the Most High to give you wisdom, make sure to ask for understanding as well. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Israelites, the Messiah prophesied that in the end times, many false prophets, teachers, and false messiahs will rise. Don't be afraid of prophecy. These things must happen in order for our redemption to come. As long as you're serving the Father in the Spirit and in truth, your heart is pure before the Most High, the Father won't forsake you. You have to learn to trust the Father and lean not to your own understanding. Don't be afraid of the truth. The Holy Spirit will help you. To the remnant, don't be afraid to go deep with the Most High. The Father reassured us by the word of God, despite of the false prophets and false Christs that will rise in the end times, the Most High will protect the elect. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. The Most High won't let the remnant be deceived by false prophets and teachers. To the Israelites in the awakening, if you truly serve the Father in the spirit and in truth, allow the Father to show himself strong through you. We have been a people without a shepherd for a long time. We are a scattered people without true leadership. Along the way, we picked up the mannerisms and ways of the heathens we live among. We have to rid ourselves of their wicked ways. Allow the Most High to transform us. Ignorance and unbelief is not going to save us from the wrath of the Most High. The scripture said there was a time the Father looked past our ignorance. Now that we are in the end times and the Father have awakened us out of our slumber, the Father is not going to excuse any ignorance. There's too much truth out here for you to allow yourself to be deceived by workers of iniquity. The Father is calling for his people to repent. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone, graven by art and man's device. In the times of this ignorance, God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Israelites, the Most High is not excusing bad behavior in his people in the awakening. The Father is holding his people accountable. As a peculiar people, a holy nation, we should know how to conduct ourselves. 
Israelites, don't let the spirit of pride transform you into a blasphemer in the end times. When you were in religion, you didn't dare to speak against religious leaders. What makes you think it's okay in the awakening? If you open your mouth to rebuke a person or refute something you believe is false, make sure you're right. The father is not excusing ignorance anymore. Israelites, don't let the Satans cause you to reject the true prophets and teachers the most I have raised in this generation. As long as you test their spirit, seek the father for answers, no devil will be able to deceive the elect. The awakening is supposed to decrease our sins, not increase them. Israelites, repent for the kingdom of the most high is at hand. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed.